Beef muscle is a matrix of muscle bundles consisting of muscle fibers and myofibrils. Muscle fibers are individual muscle cells that contain the myofilaments actin and myosin. Actin, commonly referred to as the thin filaments, are predominantly strands of G-actin monomers spirally coiled around one another to form a superhelix. Myosin, or the thick filaments, are primarily elongated rod-shaped proteins with double laterally projecting heads. The area between Z-line and Z-line is designated as a sarcomere and serves as the contractile unit. The M-line bisects the sarcomere. The dark appearing A-bands are a result of overlapping thick and thin filaments. The H-zone is solely comprised of thick filaments and the I-band of only thin filaments. Both the H-zone and the I-band are areas where thick and thin filaments do not overlap, causing their light appearance. Each muscle contraction begins with an electrochemical reaction called an action potential, arriving at the surface of the cell membrane, sarcolemma. The sarcolemma is depolarized after the release of acetylcholine due to a flux of sodium into the fiber allowing the action potential to be transmitted via the T-tubules to the sarcoplasmic reticulum. Then, calcium ions are released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum terminal cisternae into the muscle cell. Myosin binding sites on actin molecules are overlapped by tropomyosin, which is coiled around each actin helix. Calcium ions bind to troponin C, part of the troponin complex, located on the tropomyosin every seventh G-actin within the actin helix, exposing the binding sites by shifting the tropomyosin. In the presence of magnesium, ATPase is activated hydrolyzing ATP on the myosin head, forming ADP and the free phosphorus. Swiveling of the myosin head positions it to be bound to the myosin binding site on actin, forming a cross bridge. The free phosphorus is released, causing the myosin head to change conformation, resulting in a power stroke or the sliding of muscle myofilaments. ADP is released, leaving the myosin head attached to the binding site until ATP rebinds with myosin to release the head. As long as calcium ions remain at a high concentration in the muscle fiber, this sequence will be repeated until full contraction of the muscle is reached. Relaxation Once the muscle is completely contracted, cholinesterase initiates relaxation via the breakdown of acetylcholine. The sarcolemma and T-tubules are repolarized and the sarcoplasmic reticulum calcium pump is activated in order to return calcium ions to the sarcoplasmic reticulum terminal cisternae. In the absence of high concentrations of calcium ions, actin-myosin crossbridge formation is terminated, and tropomyosin recovers the myosin binding sites on actin. A magnesium complex is formed with ATP returning the myosin heads to a resting state. A passive sliding of myofilaments returns sarcomeres to their relaxed state.